Choco, chocolate, chocolate, Joe, chocolate, chocolate. Come on, I know you like the choco. Hey everybody, it's Clover. Welcome to my room. Today, we are going to have a scholarly Lolita discussion and look back at the history of chocolate prints for Angelic Pretty. Why? <laughs> you may be asking. Because I like Angelic Pretty. It's one of my favorite brands. It wasn't my favorite brand when I first started. I was like, I don't have to like Baby the Starshine Bright and Angelic Pretty. I don't need that. I can I can find off brands and stuff. And I did. I still love so many off brands. But over time, they're colorful vomit prints. I don't know. They're colorful explosions. Just got to me. They just like wormed their way in and I loved looking at the older pieces and kind of buying them for collector's sake and it was just a black hole really. <laughs> Actually I did a lot of research for this. I was looking up timelines of releases for prints that have chocolate in the name and then prints that might not have chocolate in the name but are still very chocolatey themed and that's what this is gonna go over today. This deep dive into the chocolate world <laughs> of Angelic Pretty. Um, if I'm missing any, or if you think I missed any, I didn't. I considered it and I determined it was not chocolatey enough, so I didn't include it on this list. So you can keep your sweet cream house and your melty cream donut and your Checkmate. Like, why is that chocolate? You can keep those. I don't want them. <laughs> Let's start with the general timeline of events. So back in 2009 slash 2010, there was melty chocolate. Just simply melty chocolate. It was a border print. There were little cakes. I don't hear a lot of people um, talk about melty chocolate, but it's like their earliest chocolate print that I could find. Then, December 2011, we had chess chocolate. I really love this print. I want to get it for myself. I actually like the bustier <laughs> version of it where there's like no straps. Um, the only thing I don't like about the bustier version is the weird like corset. Uh, ties. It looks like cording. It just looks really thick. I want it, but I'm just not sure what cut or color way I want to commit to. I think I do like the pink a lot though, or choco brown. Still very popular print. Still sold for a lot. Like right now on Lace Market, someone's selling the Bustier JSK in ivory um, from 2011. They are selling it for $262 right now right now moving on to 2012 or 2011 slash 2012 we have royal chocolate there was no print on this series but the fabric was textured like chocolate bars and it just said angelic or pretty in each of the little squares so there was a chocolate color mint pink and ivory or like a white chocolate in march 2012 there was polka dot chocolate. I almost didn't want to include this one. Like to me, this isn't chocolatey enough, but here it is. Now the polka dots are totally just M&Ms, but Angelic Pretty was like, put my name on that. Put that right on a print. It's fine. It's very cute. I think it could be used for like otome or like casual styles. It came in mint. There was a black chocolate colorway, pink. Like the, the sour pet is so cute actually. Yeah, this was almost like a chocolate adjacent for me. Not melty enough. Someone's selling the OP right now for like a hundred bucks in mint. And I think it actually, this one I actually really like in mint and I like it in pink as well. Keep an eye out for it if you like M&M. Moving on, um, still within 2012, there was a release that almost flew under my radar. It's called Melt Chocolapin and it's an OP set. So it's a one piece, but it was sold only as a set. Like I don't think you could buy the pieces individually. It was actually a collab between Angelic Pretty and the actress slash singer Kanda Sakaya. The result of this collab, 
was an OP set that was Choco themed. It's not my style. It has a cool like bright pink belt and then the rest of it's brown. I don't think there was another colorway. I think that was the only colorway it came in. So like brown and then pink border print. These do not come up that often. I mean, how many people actually bought the collab set to begin with? It was probably really hard to get like outside of Japan if I had to guess as well at that time. I don't really see what is the relation to the actress or singer that it must have just been like a promotional thing. If you know anything more about it, feel free to post. But um, it's only been sold three times on Lace Market and it was in 2015, 2015, 2016. So it's mega rare and it was all, they were like over $500. So moving on. In July 2012, Angelic Pretty released a collection called Chocolate rosette. It was the first of many many times that they would release this. It must have been so popular because they released this like five times that I could find. There could have been more for all I know. I don't know some special Lafayette like release or something and we will go through each and every one of them. It's just a bunch of rosettes but it's kind of chocolatey like we're gonna move on for right now. July 2013, Melty Royal Chocolate <laughs> came out. I really, really love this set. It's not a print. Usually I, you know, kind of favor prints, but there's no print on it. It's just the fabric is textured like chocolate. There was a salad pet. You could get a skirt. You could get a JSK. Uh, actually, two, two cuts of a JSK, I believe and one style pet and a jacket and I think later they released like oh there was a hat there was like a beret later I think they did a coat or like trench coat obviously the KC they had like they went all out like you could get anything you wanted in Melty Royal chocolate style so they have a dark bitter bitter chocolate color slightly lighter like milk chocolate a little bit lighter and then the lightest one like ivory or white chocolate and I found it recently for sale and I got it. It only needs minor repair. I mean it's from 2013. It's okay. You're gonna have to repair some stuff sometimes. A beautiful release. A perfect release. August 2013. Musée du chocolate. Musée du chocolate. Musée du chocolate. So in August 2013 <laughs> there was Musée du chocolate or Moussi du Chocolat, aka Chocolate Museum. Hence, all of the cute Choco picture frames and like art frames in the print. I don't hear about this release very often. The sallow pet of this release, I'm not in love with. It looks really different than all the other cuts, like the uh, JSKs and the OP and skirt. Um, it seems to just use like the upper part of the print and it removes the border part. It's just kind of like a wash to me. Like it looks like a wash even though there's like a print all over it. And the JSKs and OPs have like a really thick like chocolatey border with picture frames like, but I just, I don't hear about it ever. So I don't know if it wasn't like super popular when it came out. Um, that was back in 2013. I don't think I see many pictures of people like wearing this. It was released and then it was never talked about again. Because of this print, I don't think there was any other reason, I think it was because of this release, they released this adorable little character called Porter Bear. And he has a backpack and like a ring and, an, and a few accessories. And the backpack's like the sweetest thing I've ever seen. And I don't think they like really made stuff with him too much after that. It's just like, Porter bear. He's just the little bear in the photo. But like, that little backpack. <laughs> Shout out to Porter bear. Whether it's a porter because he's supposed to be like a servant guy or because he likes a good strong beer. <laughs> I don't. A beer? Bear? <laughs> if you've noticed, we've only covered from 2009 slash 10 to 2013 and we already have eight 
chocolate themed releases. This is like on top of all the other stuff Angelic Pretty was releasing. They still managed to fit in like eight freaking chocolate prints, like two a year basically. They were like, Choco, chocolate, chocolate, your chocolate, come on, I know you like the choco. Roughly around this time, it was already kind of a joke within the community. Um, like just about how often AP released chocolate prints. It's like I'm psychic. Really? I can always tell when Angelic Pretty is about to release a new chocolate print. Moving on, February 2014th, the month of Valentine's Day, Angelic Pretty releases Royal Creamy Chocolate. I really super love this print. It's not a colorful print. The print design is just monochrome, just all one color, and the darker colorways, they actually print gold onto it. So it's like, it just looks really cool with the gold trim. It's kind of military looking with some of the cording, but just in like the bodice area. I actually have like the ivory colorway as a sallow pet, but I like it so much, I want to get like a JSK version of it. So I'm looking out for the JSK. And the design's just really pretty and like intricate too. Also in 2014, they released Melty Ribbon Chocolate. So we had Melty Chocolate and now we have Melty Ribbon Chocolate. It's a good one, it's another solid, it's like more simple. There's like a trench coat they released with it. I guess they put Melty in the title because the cut has some like kind of melty looking droopy parts. <laughs> To it, droopy, droopy, melty choco parts to it. Melty ribbon chocolate was the first, I believe, choco square pattern that actually had a ribbon kind of lining the different squares. So it said, instead of it saying angelic pretty in the squares, it said angelic pretty in the ribbon above the chocolate. So I think that's where the ribbon in the name came from. I will say the JSK has um, something actually kind of like this on the collar part of it, which I really like. I think that's super cute. October 2014, so the same year, Angelic Pretty released Quartet Chocolate. I don't hear a lot about this print. It's pretty busy. The OP has like OTT vibes. It's kind of like this high collar with like big, like billowing princess sleeves. I'm not in love with it. It's again, it's very military. I don't know why they think chocolate equals military, but they do. I guess the color schemes work often, browns, I don't know. To me from afar, it doesn't read chocolate. Like this, I almost was gonna be like, oh, this isn't a chocolate print, but it has chocolate in the name, so I included it. If you are a music lover, like this is your, this is your print. Moving on to December, 2015, Chocolate Rosette re-release. They released Chocolate Rosette originally in 2012 and then they were like, you know what? We've released so many other chocolate prints. We're all out of ideas. And so they just re-released Chocolate Rosette and it must have been a good re-release for them because again, as we covered, they would re-release that thing like five different times. Let's just re-release Chocolate Rosette again. Oddly enough, 2015 only had that one chocolate release. 2015 was the chocolate famine for Angelic Pretty. Mm. The chocolate famine of 2015 was closely and quickly followed up with three different chocolate releases in the year 2016. Starting in July 2016, we had Melty Whip Chocolate. Another one of my faves. Melty Whip Chocolate, again, is like a plain print, but it has cording kind of curling around, very reminiscent of like marching band style, kind of mil military uniform, but like way more cute because of like the curly cues that they did on it. In September 2016, they came out with Antique Chocolatelli, which looks like chocolatiri, but it's pronounced chocolatri. Chocolaterie, and it means chocolate factory. I never hear about this print, and to me it looked like melty chocolate, like their first chocolate print they released. So I went to Lolita Updates just to see what people thought of Antique Chocolaterie. Here's just a few of the select responses. 
Print, nope. Just like melty chocolate. The bag is gold. Well, I'm going to be the one to say it. Another goddamn frickin' chocolate print. <laughs> People are really can seem to be confused about like the dark greens or like the teals that they're using. Some other folks compare it to Metamorphos releases and they're like, why? Why are you putting out stuff that looks like a Metamorphos? Don't do that. Some people like the color, but they think the print is boring and it's just like cakes and stuff. Basically, Angelic Pretty did like the Alexa thing where they try to show you a, a new song that they think you may like based on their algorithm, but the moment you thumbs it down or skip it, they just play you an old classic that you've definitely favored in the past. So, again, in September 2016, the same month, they re-release Rosette Chocolate as a made-to-order. Like, you thought Holy Lantern got re-released all the time? Dude, Chocolate Rosette. I didn't realize until researching for this video got released like a billion times. Like, no joke, this is insane. So I don't, I couldn't find anything else really after that, except July 2017. Chocolate Rosette Special JSK re-release. Yeah, guys, did you miss it the other times? This is another time to get it. So in this Chocolate Rosette, um, I, it looks like you could only get it in like their Tokyo shop, maybe like based on the little banner. Um, and it was a special like jumper skirt set. So it means like you get the jumper skirt, Casey, whatever. I think AP kind of like fell asleep for a little bit. And then they were like, oh, we didn't do a chocolate print. Rosette chocolate. Rose, chocolate rosette. Get that out. Get that out. Moving on. September 2017. Queen chocolate. I kind of remember when this came out. I remember people not super liking it. Like there was this picture of a model wearing it in one of their uh, like the AP shows. It's a very loud print and it has just like a big panel going right down the front of just like a bunch of hearts. The look has kind of grown on me. It has like the little kind of lapel style collar things here. It's like if you're trying to do a um, queen of hearts style thing, but you're the queen of Chaco instead. 2018, New Year's special set, Antique Chocolaterie. So last time it came out was September 2016, Antique Chocolaterie, and then they came out again in 2018. Looks like it was only in ivory, but you know, pretty enough. If you need a Chaco JSK, there it is. Later in the year of 2018, they decided to re-release Queen Chocolate, but as a salopette. This was when I think they were actually releasing a bunch of things as salopettes. Like, um, there's just like a handful of prints that they released, and yeah, Queen Chocolate was one of them, so you were able to get it in like any colorway at that time. I want you to go ahead and just take a guess at what came after this in March 2019. Just take a wild stab in the dark about what came out. It was Chocolate Rosette again. It was a make to order this time. So yeah, <laughs> goddamn baby. Later on in the year, 2019 in August, they came out with Melty Ribbon Chocolate. So I had, I literally had to reach out to the little librarians on this. I'm gonna put my little glasses on cause it got scholarly up in here, dude. Like it got scholarly. 2019 Melty Ribbon Chocolate. It looks visually cut wise, just like Melty Royal Chocolate from 2013. So 2019 Melty Ribbon Chocolate looks just like 2013 Melty Royal Chocolate. I was told by the little librarians that they use the same cut and it just happens to use the name Melty Ribbon Chocolate from back in 2014, if you remember Melty Ribbon Chocolate from back then. However, in this 2019 release, re-release, they added a new color, mint. So you couldn't get this cut of like the drippy JSK with the ruffle panel down the front and the buttons with the chain. You couldn't get that in mint back in 2013, but in 2019, you can. Um, the only other difference, if you're looking at these two dresses side by side and you have like the same like color or whatever, Melty Royal is 
the fabric was textured like chocolate bars and has drips on the top and within the drips it says angelic pretty melty ribbon as we talked about before was the chocolate squares with little melty on top and then a ribbon and like a bow and then it says angelic pretty like on the ribbon there oh my god so melty ribbon chocolate from 2014 used the same fabric material as melty ribbon 2019 who releases something with the exact same cut but just changes the fabric texture like slightly and then calls it something else and the name's so similar like if someone was selling this and they sold me the wrong one i'd be like i understand <laughs> i understand the confusion like honestly just on first glance so hard to tell apart you have to have your chocolate print knowledge like on point i don't know to me this is crazy all right bye guys thanks so much for watching thanks for joining me let me know what kind of a deep dive you'd like me to do next Join me as I unwrap the history of Angelic Pretty chocolate print. Oh my god. <laughs> There's caramel in it.